Okay, now let's collect data for the second method of determining where the resonant frequency is. And while we go along, I'll actually have this set up so we can collect another run with the same voltages from the digital voltmeters. But the second method is to look at the amplitude of the signal from the source, V sub S, on the oscilloscope. And the way to do that, actually, we can, we can use this calibration on the, of the scale. But it's even easier on this scope because if you go to, let, let me auto scale first of all. And if I go up to measure voltage, I'll get a menu along the bottom saying what do I want to measure from which source, one or two? Well, we're using one. Uh, do I want to measure voltage peak to peak, average, or RMS? And we definitely want to use RMS, and, uh, root mean square average, so I'll push that. And this fly-in tells me via RMS of source one is 5.027. It's varying a little bit here. And so we can actually just read this off the screen here. It may be a little bit difficult for you to see it if this uh, device doesn't focus on that. But we'll track this as, again, we raise the, the uh, frequency up from oh, 1,166 hertz. This is the voltage on the inductor, and that's the voltage across the capacitor. So let's, there's your readings. And now if I raise the voltage or the frequency up so that I can get a significant increase on the inductor and a decrease on the capacitor there, that's a reading there. And the voltage, uh, the source is 3.09, 3.094 volts. Okay, I'll raise the frequency some more. The voltage now is at the source is 2.63 volts. I'll raise it some more. You can see the frequency and the voltage is 2.26 volts. raise the frequency a little more the voltage is 2.06 volts we're very close to the resonance now let me go back I'll try and go in steps so there's the frequency we're at 2.009 oh, 2.002 2.00 something volts for the source and of course that's V sub L and V sub C. I'll change it just a little bit here. The voltage is 1.995 on the source. The voltage is now 1.964 at the source. The voltage is 1.961, it's bouncing around, 962, 971, 96-something. The voltage is now 1.981. 2. The, the source voltage is 2.02 something sig figs. That last digit is jumping around, so I don't trust it. Raise the voltage some more, or frequency some more. The voltage in the source is 2.073. Raise this up. The voltage at the source is 2.124. The voltage of the source is 2.211. Oh, the meter went to sleep as it hasn't been used, so I turn it off and turn it back on again. The voltage at the source is 2.245.
the voltage at the source is 2.337 the voltage at the source is 2.488 2.477 2 2.491 it's cycling around with all of those we've gone through the resonance we're just about done here you should be able to fit the data to this. The voltage of the source is 2.558. Let's go and get a big one. Okay, at this frequency, the voltage of the source is 2.779. And the voltage of the source now is 3.113. That's a run. That should be enough to be able to uh, determine the resonant frequency from from both methods actually using the minimum of the voltage of the source or the crossing of the voltage across the inductor and the capacitor all in one run.